Once upon a time, in a quaint village surrounded by mystical forests, there lived a young girl named Mia. Mia was known for her curious and adventurous spirit, traits that often led her to explore every nook and cranny of her surroundings. One rainy afternoon, while the raindrops gently tapped against the window panes, Mia decided to venture into the attic of her grandmother's old house, a place filled with relics and treasures from the past. As she climbed the creaky attic stairs, a flicker of lightning briefly illuminated the space, revealing cobwebs and dust that danced in the air. Mia's eyes wandered across old trunks, framed photographs, and stacks of books, until something unusual caught her attention. Tucked away in the corner under a dusty tarp was an ornate clock. Unlike any she had seen before, it boasted intricate carvings and shimmering golden hands that stood still, frozen in time. Mia couldn't resist the allure of the mysterious timepiece. With gentle fingers, she brushed off layers of dust, revealing the signature of the village's legendary clockmaker engraved on its base a man reputed to be as wise as he was old. As she inspected the clock, Mia noticed that despite its age, it seemed to hum with a faint, almost imperceptible energy. It was then that she realized this was no ordinary clock, but something far more intriguing. The old clock, crafted by a master of time itself, beckoned Mia to delve deeper into its secrets. Little did she know, her discovery would soon whisk her away on an adventure through time, opening doors to the past and the heartwarming tales of her village. Tonight, as the storm rages outside, Mia's journey is just beginning, setting the stage for a tale of time travel and the timeless lessons she would learn. Curiosity piqued by the intricate craftsmanship of the clock, Mia spent the evening poring over its mechanisms, hoping to unlock its secrets. With each tick and talk she imagined, she traced her fingers along the carvings and dials, until her touch grazed a hidden lever discreetly nestled beside the clock face. Without a moment's hesitation, Mia pressed it, unleashing a whirlwind of shimmering lights and whispered winds that enveloped her. As the lights dimmed and the air stilled, Mia found herself standing in the middle of the same village. However, everything looked remarkably different. The buildings were less modern, the roads were unpaved, and the air carried the scent of wood smoke and fresh hay. Baffled, Mia quickly realized that the clock had not just revealed its secrets, it had transported her back in time to the village as it existed 50 years ago. Eager to explore, Mia wandered through the village streets, her eyes wide with wonder. The market square, usually bustling with the latest farm produce and local gossip, now hosted a variety of vintage stalls selling goods that Mia had only seen in old photographs. Horse-drawn carriages replaced the cars she was used to, and the fashion of the villagers seemed to come straight out of a mid-century movie. It didn't take long for Mia to encounter familiar faces, albeit younger than she had ever known them. Each interaction was a brush with history, a glimpse into the lives of those she had only known in the autumn of their years. But it was when she spotted her young grandmother, vibrant and lively, tending to a small flower stall, that Mia felt the true magic of her journey. She approached cautiously, heart pounding with the surreal realization that she was witnessing her grandmother's life unfold decades before Mia herself was even born. Each moment in the past was a treasure, a piece of history that taught Mia more about where she came from and the legacy of her village. Yet, even as she absorbed the sights and sounds of yesteryear, a part of her knew she needed to find a way back to her own time. To do that, she would need to seek out the only person who could help, the young clockmaker who had crafted the wondrous device that brought her here. 
As Mia continued her journey through the village, each step and conversation wove her deeper into the tapestry of its history. She learned that her grandmother, in her youth, was not only a florist, but also a pillar of kindness in the community, always ready to lend a helping hand or a sympathetic ear. This revelation filled Mia with pride and a newfound respect for the woman she knew only as her caring grandmother. Guided by a sense of purpose and adventure, Mia sought out the young clockmaker, hoping he held the key to her return. She found him in a workshop brimming with gears, springs, and ticking contraptions, a stark contrast to the quiet, aged shop she knew in her time. The clockmaker, though younger, possessed the same keen eyes and steady hands that Mia remembered. He was intrigued by Mia's story and fascinated by the idea that his creation could cross the bounds of time. Together they examined the ancient clock, Mia recounting how she had activated it. The clockmaker listened intently, his mind racing with possibilities and theories. He explained that the clock was designed as a bridge through time, meant to connect the past and future, but it was never tested. Mia's accidental trip was the first proof that his ambitious design had worked. The clockmaker and Mia spent days tweaking and tuning the clock, during which Mia immersed herself in the village's past, learning from everyone she met. She helped her young grandmother arrange flowers, listen to stories of old adventures from the villagers, and even assisted in a local festival preparation, experiencing firsthand the traditions and joys of the past. These encounters taught Mia valuable lessons about courage, resilience, and the importance of community. She saw the challenges her ancestors faced and the bonds they forged to overcome them, giving her a deeper appreciation for her roots and the people who shaped her world. With the clock finally ready, Mia prepared to say goodbye to the past that had taught her so much. She thanked the young clockmaker for his help and wisdom, promising to remember everything she had learned. Their final adjustments complete, Mia stood before the clock once more, ready to return to her own time, carrying with her a heart full of memories and lessons from a bygone era. With a mixture of excitement and a tinge of sadness, Mia positioned herself in front of the ancient clock once again. The young clockmaker gave her a reassuring nod as he explained the final step to initiate her return. Mia took a deep breath, feeling the weight of history and experience she had gained from her time-traveling adventure. She pressed the hidden lever, the same one that had started her journey, and braced herself for the transition back to her own time. The clock began to whir and hum, its gears turning faster as the hands spun backward. The room blurred around Mia, and the familiar whirlwind of lights and whispered winds surrounded her once more. When the sensations subsided and her surroundings came into focus again, Mia found herself standing in her grandmother's attic. The storm had passed and morning light now filtered through the small window, casting a gentle glow on the old clock. Relieved to be home, Mia hurried downstairs, where her grandmother was preparing breakfast. With fresh eyes, Mia observed her grandmother, seeing not just the elderly woman who raised her, but a lifetime of kindness and resilience reflected back at her. Over breakfast, Mia shared her incredible adventure, watching as her grandmother's eyes widened with astonishment and joy, especially when learning about the younger version of herself Mia had met. The experience profoundly impacted Mia, deepening her appreciation for her village's history and the lives of its people. She began to spend more time with the elderly residents, gathering their stories and learning from their experiences ensuring that their wisdom and histories were not forgotten. As time passed, Mia worked alongside the old clockmaker, 
who was now even more of a legend in her eyes. She learned the art of clockmaking, driven by a desire to preserve and continue the legacy of the magical time-traveling clock. Mia's adventure became a cherished story in her village, inspiring others to appreciate their past and the fabric of community that connected them across generations. Thus, the clock not only bridged time, but also hearts, weaving a tapestry richer and more vibrant with each passing moment. Mia's journey through time had ended, but her new journey, enriched with the past's lessons and a renewed spirit, was just beginning. <laughs>